The nation is cursed. Why is the nation cursed? The leadership needs to repent and come to God. The leadership, the whole entire leadership, the new dawn, when I say leadership, let me, the new dawn government needs to repent and come to God. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. May God bless you. May God bless you. Uh, this is uh, Prophet Shepherd M. Mesala, the prophet of this generation. Viewers all over the world, uh, this is uh, your prophet, which God has been using um, uh, uh, all these years. I just want to share a few prophetic dreams concerning the nation of Zambia. I'll touch so many things, but I just want you to know the mind of God concerning this nation of Zambia. I have been praying for the nation of Zambia. I have been speaking um, uh, uh, a word of victory in every area concerning the nation of Zambia. Children of God, there was a revelation which God gave me uh, through a dream where God was telling me there will be hunger for three years. I don't know the years I mentioned. I think I started 2022, 2023, uh, 2024. So God spoke to me uh, through a dream and I had a dream where I saw hunger in the nation of Zambia and other African countries so I gave this message to the nation of Zambia I shared this prophetic word even to the authorities you know blessed is a nation which hears the voice of God. Blessed is a nation which obeys God's word because the word of God, it bypasses that knowledge you got from, uh, uh, from school. The word of God, it bypasses uh, that wisdom which man can have. So if you are not following the voice of God and the word of God and you want to move by your intelligence you want to move by your natural wisdom you might fail to do certain things I, I released a prophetic word concerning the nation of Zambia where I stated saying there will be hunger for three years many people insulted the prophet word some they were saying hunger will be in your house that's mocking god yeah, just that statement of of telling a prophet saying hunger will be in your house it's like you are telling god that hunger will be in your kingdom not uh, uh, not in our houses listen to me child of god so, you have seen the signs already. You have seen the signs already that that prophecy has been fulfilled. There is hunger in the nation of Zambia. So, the prophetic word has been fulfilled. So, what can we do? What can we do? We need to, to face God again. 
to seek forgiveness because the reason why I'm saying this like this, this way is didn't just went to the public. It reached all the authorities in this country of Zambia. They are aware of this prophetic word, but it was undermined. You know, Egypt, the king of Egypt, the king of Egypt had a dream because that king he respected the spiritual realm that God can speak through the spiritual realm and the king he had no peace he was looking for something uh, uh, something in which is someone is telling me prophet Moaina. thanks so much maybe we are getting because of the lord <laughs> many people think like the reason why i'm too quiet maybe there is something i'm doing uh, listen to me i've just been busy if i've gained then i've just gained because of uh, god's grace yeah otherwise we are together and we are still worshiping our god together so children of god the king in egypt uh he, he had that dream and he respected the spiritual realm that there is a God who speaks in the realms of the spirit and by doing so he was looking for an interpreter who will interpret what he dreamt and he tried all his state council. No one had a true meaning of that dream. So, children of God, when he, he, that dream came, the king was wise enough. This is a king who never knew about God but he had a natural wisdom that there is a physical realm and a spiritual realm so he knew that i need to find an interpreter who will interpret my dream and he went to look around they said but there is this gentleman joseph who was a prisoner and he interpreted he interpreted the dream and he was told this is what needs to be done me i know the solution of this country of zambia i know because god spoke to me all these things if the solution i have will not be taken so seriously people will begin to die with hunger people will die with hunger because God has already showed me how these things are happening. Even farmers, if you are thinking it is a good season for you to, to plant this time, you will disappoint yourselves. So, through that, Joseph interpreted the dream to the king. And the king honored Joseph. He became a governor of uh, uh, of. Uh, that country because most of the people you don't follow the bible histories you just read uh, scriptures which are famous but you should connect the whole story this is why you find the israelites found themselves in egypt because they were learning from hunger in their country where they were there was hunger so they followed joseph who had made an impact in Egypt by interpreting a dream to the king. So, the direction the nation of Zambia is moving, it is not moving in a light direction. There is darkness. The reason why we went to Kabwe, we went to light the light, because God spoke to me, saying there is heavy darkness coming upon the nation of Zambia. These are prophetic words. There was darkness. Where there is darkness, 
there is so many evil things good morning good morning good morning that's what you're waking up so where there is a darkness there is always confusion where there is darkness there is always afflictions where there is darkness there is death where there is darkness there is hunger where there is darkness there is bitterness where there is darkness there is confusion so this darkness it has covered the whole nation of Zambia and us who are in Kawe we started the light because that's what God was telling me we started the light the light started shining in Kawe we came with it in Lusaka it is shining let me tell you children of God if you are expecting good things you are deceiving yourselves unless something is done now that is when good things you begin to see them because the anger of God is upon the nation of Zambia I don't know what is happening the anger of God is upon this nation of Zambia when people are quiet when people are, are not talking when people are silent don't think all is well there are people right now who are sleeping in the mountains declaring a word upon the nation of Zambia there are pastors and prophets who have abandoned their luxury life they are on their knees praying for the nation of Zambia and darkness has covered it darkness has covered it I don't want to move with my prophetic to go further notice but to tell you the truth there is something sad which is about to happen this darkness when it is moving it will cover so many things so the, my prophetic dream was not taken serious because man thought he can use his own wisdom to overcome the wisdom of God. Man thought he can use his education, physical education, theories, to overcome the supernatural world. Listen to me, child of God. You are about to see the anger of God. You are about to see the power of God. God is doing something. If this nation shall not repent, if the leadership shall not repent, if the leadership shall not learn to God, you will see what will happen. You will see what will happen. And many people are going to know that this is what Prophet Messiah was speaking. There is so much darkness on this nation of Zambia. People will be dying. People will be missing. People will, will be killed. There will be so many evil things which, which, which will be happening in the nation. And all these things can be sorted out. Listen even to you leaders of this country of Zambia. Don't take people for granted. Hear what they want and deliver to them what you promised them. Don't focus on building your pockets. Focus on delivering what people they want. Don't focus on empowering only your relatives. You are in public offices. You are leaders for each and every person. The same people you chased from the streets, they are same people who voted for you. 
The same vendors you have, you have been thinking they are nothing. They are people who had to make a way for you to go on top. People are dying with hunger. Children of God are dying with hunger. When it comes to contracts, you only give it to yourselves. And people are watching. And everyone is watching. Big businesses, you give it to yourselves. If people are watching. Let me tell you, you are about to see the power of God. You are about to see how God operates. Positions, you only give it to yourselves. Don't think the silence of people, it is like all is well or they are not able to see what is happening to the back doors. They are always seen, but they are quiet because there is a spirit God has put on the nation where people will be quiet, will be just watching and God will do the rest. God will do the rest. Even all you ministers who are busy doing all kinds of things you are doing, the battle line has just started. The anger of God is going to deal with you. This is Prophet Mesala speaking right here. Me, I speak the mind of God. I don't care even if you are my friend, you are my physical friend, you are a minister, a physical friend, you are a what, you are my physical friend. I respect God more than a physical relationship. I speak what God is speaking. So, listen, listen. Listen to me very carefully. Always, always be on your knees. And the power of God is about to do something. So I saw darkness came. And after darkness came, and that darkness had to cover the whole nation of uh, Zambia. And when it covered the whole nation of Zambia, light was little, and only few people had the light to shine. Okay, when the light was shining, people with the light were blessed, and few people with the light who were blessed, they were the only one who were holding onto that light. There will be calamities which will begin to happen in the nation of Zambia. The nation is cursed. Why is the nation cursed? The leadership needs to repent and come to God. The leadership, the whole entire leadership, the new dawn, when I say leadership, let me, the new dawn government needs to repent and come to God. Because if they will not come to God and repent and come to God, whatever will be happening will be pointing fingers on them. This is the word of the Lord and the Lord has spoken. It's not me speaking. It's the Lord who has spoken. And when the Lord has spoken to a nation, the leadership needs to obey the voice of God. When they fail to obey the voice of God, when I, Prophet Shepherd M. Mesala, speak a curse on the nation, this nation will divide. There are prophets who speak the word and God obeys it. There are prophets when they declare a curse on a nation, a nation will go under a curse. These things happened to Elijah. One man stopped the lens from learning and it stopped. If you are comfortable with those prophets, you can buy. Buy many as you can. 
if you are comfortable with those prophets you can control control them as much as you can but the prophets of god they speak the mind of god the drama is too much confusion is too much people are dying a lot of people are dying and youths are not helped in any way god is about to do something and that thing it will shock the whole nation this is prophet shepherd ebn sala the prophet of uh, this generation i told once this to edgar chagwalungu i told him don't contest in 2021 general election he thought i was joking i told him i was a man who fought bill 10 because i knew bill 10 if it could not have been fought they couldn't have been this new don government when i see gary combo is jumping up and down chasing people on the streets in uh, 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 in, uh, in the Rusaka cbd i just laugh saying they don't even know how they got power that's the reason why they can jump and up and down and chase people from uh, the streets let me tell you children of god if you you can manage to buy food Others, they depend on everyday sale they do to have food on the table. And one thing I don't like is someone who intimidates the children of God. I speak the mind of God. Whenever I'm speaking, I speak. The, I know as I'm speaking, the OPs you are watching, go and tell your bosses. This is the word of God and it's being spoken by the prophet of God. So, this is Prophet Mesara speaking. May God bless you. Uh, so, this darkness, when it comes and it covers, that's when you are going to see what the Lord is speaking. This is Prophet Shepard Mesala, the prophet of uh, this generation. We have received so many calls from people. Prophet, you are too quiet. Prophet, we hear from God. We don't speak on speculations. We speak when God is speaking. That's when we speak. So, God has told me to speak this way. And I've spoken about it. And have delivered the message so it's up to you to take it or to leave it but the results shall come to pass thanks so much may god bless you shalom this is DJ Mutati exclusive. all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.